everyone and welcome back to my channel. So one of my birthday presents arrived today. I've spent some of my birthday money on these gorgeous Paul Rubin paints. Uh, I have actually got a couple of uh, metallic water paints from Etsy. I have got the Ganzai Tanvi watercolour paints. So I'm quite interested to see what the difference is going to be because there's quite a big difference in price. I paid £50 for these on Amazon. So they come with information leaflet with all the different watercolours that they have available. It comes in a quite sturdy cardboard pink metallic box which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to keep it in this even though it'll probably be a pain in the bum every single time I want to use it but we're keeping it in, in that nonetheless. So when you open the box it's covered with a lovely pink chamois cloth it's got Paul Rubin's logo there. I won't ever use this for paint. This is just going to be so late, just for looking pretty. <laughs> if anybody uses it as a cleaning cloth, then I'm going to fall out with that person. So it's going to get hidden because it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's quite uh, heavy, the palette. It's probably, it's heavier than my Winsor & Newton and there's a lot more paints in that. I think there's actually double the amount. So very sturdy packaging move this out of the way so yeah the gorgeous pastel pink colour I have popped my daylight lamp on because it is quite a dull day so I'm hoping that the lamp will help with the shimmy uh, sh shimmery uh, metallic tongue twister so it does come with a swatching chart and that's what we're going to do today I have took each of the pans out of they came with like a, a metallic sticker over the top so I've just took that off each of them just to save a bit of time. So by the feel of it, it is uh, watercolour paper this. I mean, I could be wrong, but it is quite textured and it's thick. Oh, I've nearly forgot to show you. I had my nails redone this morning. So my nice birthday nails are glitter. I mean, the camera's not going to pick them up, but they are super duper glitter. I love them. Anyway, back to the paints. So yeah, I paid £50. I'm not sure whether I said that. I apologise if I did. Um, so yeah, it's quite a lot more expensive. Well, it is a lot more expensive, but I ordered um, four paints from Etsy and they did come in a cute little tin. I don't think I've got it at hand he here. Um, and they were £5 each for each of the pants. So it was £20 for four. You know, so I do think you're getting quite a good deal depending how these paints um, act. So I'm just going to dampen the brush because I don't want spillage everywhere i'm just going to put a drop on each of them and we'll test them together this is the first time that i've swatched them so this is my honest first impressions and i am expecting a lot from these paints to be honest let's push that one down a little bit so you can actually take the paints out and you've got more room for actually mixing colors i'm not going to put anything on this beautiful white metal. I'm just going to use a plastic uh, mixing palette. That is probably my favourite and we've not even used it yet. Look beautiful. So I've got a little pot of water, I've got a little bit of kitchen roll just to wipe the brush off and let's just see. Oh, I've not checked if I've done it in the right order or not. So we'll check this one first. I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? The only thing is, it is quite difficult. Can you see how shimmery that it actually is, the packaging? So it is quite difficult to read the colour. So this one's pearl silver. So I should be starting from this side. It's a good job I can check that, won't it? So let's pop that one back down. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to go down. There we go. Let's pop it back down. I'll have to wipe the brush off now. And let's start off with the lighter shades. And work our way down. So I'll bring it up the camera so you can see a little bit better. I imagine these lighter shades are going to be better over colour pencil, let's say, or alcohol markers. I'm just going to dip and get a little bit more water. Yeah, I imagine that they'll be nicer, let's say on butterfly wings, if you've done an already gorgeous uh, colouring of the wings, 
with nice pastel colours, let's say, and you pop some of that over it. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to love these. I'm going to, this is £50 well spent and I've only used one of them. So I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy these. I do apologise, this is the best lighting that I can do. It's really a, a, a dull winter day. Um, it's quite cold out there today, I've not long got back. We're going out for a nice meal tonight, to celebrate my birthday. Me, just me and my husband and my son. Oh, that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <gasps> I'm in love, I'm in love. I've, been, I've wanted these for the longest time and I kept putting off buying them, but I thought, you know what? I've been giving money from my mum, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law. Uh, my mother-in-law was kind enough to give me money towards the desk. So basically I've been spoilt. Uh, my husband has got me some tickets to see a concert next month, Shine Down. So I'm really looking forward to that and then obviously the meal tonight. And my mum gave me loads of goodies, loads, loads of beauty goodies. So I've been spoiled rotten. Oh, and Lewis got me, actually, I think I've already shown you these, but the containers that I keep, my pencils, my fine line liners and my gel pens. So Lewis actually bought me these. I hope I'm doing these in the right order. Oh, have I not just gone over the same one? I have. Let me just check. One, two, three, one, two, no, I've not. That's right. I thought I'd fudged up there, but I've not. They are quite similar then, then that bottom one is a little bit more golden by the looks of it. I love the brush. This is a beautiful tangerine colour. I'm not too worried if, even if I have got them wrong on the swatch chart because I can see, you know, by just looking at the paints, what colour it is going to be. Let's move it a little bit. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Mm. Why did I wait so long? Well, this one looks more of a, a true gold shade. The next one looks a bit more coppery. I love copper shades. I love copper shades in anything. Anything. So I'm not sure whether I've added the right amount of water to each because they are different finishes by the looks of it. Some are more metallic, some are more glittery. Ah, that was beautiful. See, but that just might be me being biased because I love, I love these copper shades. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll bring you in closer once I've uh, finished the swatches. Oh, would it be better? I'll just move everything over a teeny weeny little bit. And I'll bring you in like that. That might be slightly better. So this is the pinky shade that I've been eyeing up ever since I opened it. I got the notification from Amazon that my package had been delivered at half past ten this morning actually. And we only got in it just after dinner. So it's been wasted on my doorstep all that time. Yep, yeah, that was beautiful. So I'm just cleaning off the brush. Oh, I can imagine that pink being gorgeous on candy canes. Let's go into this darker, looks like a more watermelon colour. I'm hoping that they are the night right names. This one's Deep Interference Red. Beautiful. That top one definitely has got more glitter in it. This one looks like a deep red. Well, it's actually called Wine Red. Oh, and that's absolutely stunning as well. Just going to add a little bit more water. I don't think there's enough words for me to say, so I keep repeating myself and saying they're stunning, they're beautiful, they're gorgeous. And this is a really, this really reminds me, I nearly got my nails coloured in this one, this is that colour, yep. But I chose the more brainy shade. Oh, that's beautiful, mm, beautiful. I had a really fuchsia pink. That's a really barby pink, isn't it? Right, so I will lift you up. I think they will look slightly different as well once they've dried, maybe. 
Right. Mm, yeah, I know that flash purple is at the end. So this one is crepe myrtle. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I don't want to get it on my sleeve. I've got a cream top on. I'm so happy that I've decided. It was like a, a last minute decision last night. I ordered it probably about 10 o'clock last night. It was, oh, uh, I've done it now, I can't go back. But like I said, my family have been very, very gen generous this year with my birthday. Well, they, they usually always are. They always spoil me. So I'm very, very thankful to them because I wouldn't have got these paints otherwise. So yeah, I'm 32. I have to think about that then. 32 years old today. Oh, that's a gorgeous blue. That's really an aqua marine blue, isn't it? Stunning, just stunning. If you've been, you know, on and hour about these, like I was for the longest time, I can't recommend them enough. I've actually prepped a picture with black acrylic for the background so these paints would stand out even more. So that's my next job once I've finished filming this. Oh, that's really, really beautiful. Just check that that's the right. Oh, that's even nicer. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. They're gorgeous. Look at them. Right, and it was this more forest green, not lime green, sorry, not forest green. This one's actually called fruit green. I think what I'm going to have to invest in is a cheap little spray bottle just to make it easier with these sort of watercolour paints. Because that little dot of water that I've already added has dried up pretty quickly. So I'm adding more water and I'm actually um, losing some of the colour. So bear with me. I think that's that's what colour that is meant to be. Let me just put another coat on that just to check. And they will look different when, when they dry. This one is a deep, deep green. Yeah, deep green. <laughs> oh, stunning. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> right. Uh, this one is just literally called brown. I've got a funny feeling. Yep, yeah, I'm going to like this. It reminds me very much of the copper shade. I've just added a little bit of water there because it did feel a little bit dry. But when you've got the correct amount of water on, they're really smooth, really buttery. They're not like chalky like some of the cheaper watercolour paints that you can get not necessarily metallic but I did buy quite a cheap set when I first started colouring just to see whether I liked some and the texture of them and not very nice let's put it that way right last shade is the flash purple which it's strange that they put it at the end, why don't they put it near the purples, but never mind. That looks like grapes. Dark, dark grapes. Right. So let me just move my water pen and I'll zoom you out a tad. And here are the swatches. Move you up. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I haven't got anything in my collection that, that looks like this, that reacts like this. Let's just see. Yep. Yeah. Them ones have dried now, so you can actually see. There is some of them that have got bits of glitter in them, and there's some more with more metallic that fluoride colour is absolutely 
beautiful. I mean, the camera's not giving it justice. Let me just move the light. There you go. Oh my God. Right. So yeah, these are not going back. These are staying with me and they're forever going to be loved. And I'm going to tuck them away now and put them back to bed in the lovely blanket. <laughs> yeah, I do. I love them. I love them. But thank you very much for watching this shorter video. And hopefully I'll be able to live stream in the next couple of days. I miss speaking to you guys. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.